Hey boo hey, hey girl hey. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to go ahead and do like a quick little makeup tutorial I guess. I guess what it's called. It's kind of like my like everyday like makeup tutorial. Uh, my face has already been like washed and prepped or whatnot. I do have like a little scar right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it but it's pretty dark. Um, no, it's not a black eye because I get acid like all of the time. Um, but no, it's definitely not. I have eczema and so like my skin will like break out wherever on my body and it just so happened that whatever time I was having this outbreak, it just happened on like my face. So no, <laughs> it's not a black eye. No, it looks probably terrible. I'm not sure if you guys can really see it. I'm filming in my closet as you can see like the clothes behind me and stuff. Um, but yeah, I would do like a little chit chat kind of like my everyday kind of like get ready with me it should take about maybe like 10 minutes or less um if you're not talking like I will be or if you're not in like a rush but it kind of does help if you are in a rush um but it also helps a lot if you're not like talking a lot and me you know Miss Fabulous over here okay boo boo okay I love to talk but so that's something so I'm not really sure if you guys can like really see me I have like all my heels well not all of them honey okay yo girl is a shoe fanatic and I have heels everywhere but like majority I would say maybe like majority of my heels are like right here so I have like a little bit of space to kind of like walk in so you know what I mean and if I'm looking um like up and then down is because I'm filming on my iPad and the camera's like right here but like I'm looking down and like see like myself you know what I mean so I don't know I'm kind of crazy but yeah so we're gonna do like a little get ready with me chit chat um quick little 10 minute hopefully <laughs> my everyday kind of like routine kind of like look um, this is my first video, so I don't really know how this is going to go, but it looks like we're probably already at like two minutes. Let me not get too close because, oh my God, like my hair is a mess too. Like my hair was done today, but between like life and everything else like that, my hair has gone down. But anyway, I have all my makeup right here. I'm not even going to get into that. I'm literally just going to be using my makeup out of this little bag right here. Um, what is this? Louis Vuitton, I don't know, some like freaking like makeup bag. So I'm gonna have like my makeup in this bag. This is the makeup that we're gonna be using our everyday like look oops in. <laughs> but over here is like the bulk of my makeup. I just moved, so I'm in like my new like apartment. So I don't really have like a great like makeup organizing system kind of going on right now. Uh, I have like all my purses, but not even all of them. <laughs> Let's just be real and be honest. <laughs> Majority of my purses is hanging on on the my back of like my um, closet door, on like a little like purse hook kind of thing. One second, let me grab that lipstick because I don't know. It's a Mac lipstick. I'm not really sure if we're gonna use it for today's look, but um, my lip, my everyday lip, is kind of like based off of I don't know. It's not really based off of anything, but this is uh, Velvet Teddy. Oh my god, I love Velvet Teddy. I'm not sure if you guys can like see that, but obviously you know your girl put on the lipstick and then i want to put this over it so the real color is this color right here don't look off of the tip right here because i did you know um i did like an ombre and an ombre look off of it so i guess like let's just get kind of started my face has been washed and moisturized excuse the background noise <sighs> you know it's life as much as anything um and some of my brushes i guess i can kind of like tell you guys but i won't say like what i'm using or my brushes not unless you guys like ask for them given the fact that this is like my first video i mean i don't know if you guys would even care or anybody i don't know <laughs> would even like care if like what kind of brushes i'm using or like my makeup but it is going to be some mix of high-end um makeup products as well as some like drugstore makeup products um but definitely like let me guys like let me know i guess um if you guys like it or if you guys want to know what products i use but anyway i guess we can kind of like get started so what i'm basically gonna do is start by taking everything like out of like the little makeup bag i just showed you guys so i can kind of like see um what we are working with but like i said this is gonna be like a chit chat kind of like get ready with me and so we're gonna do that so i'm gonna start off by saying how you doing girlfriends <laughs> how you guys doing hey boo boo hey boo boo hey boo boo okay you know your girl over here a little bit kind of wild just a little bit kind of wild you understand me and so 
I'm going to start off by saying that. Hopefully the audio sounds pretty good. I have no idea what I'm doing. But guess what? Your girl about to wing this. Okay? But hopefully it's a good kind of wing. Hopefully it's not like a, what the heck is she doing kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hopefully not. So I'm just taking everything out basically. I'm trying to find my concealer. Like I start off with washing my face. I use something like this. This is a drugstore brand of um, like the clean and clear type of stuff. Excuse my nail right here. This one needs a gold, uh, <laughs> a gold uh, clear coat. I just haven't because, I mean, I do have a regular real job and I work for corporate, um, the tech industry basically, and I work overnight. So I haven't been able to find my gold glitter to put on this nail. But anyway, I use this face wash, um, this one right here. It's like the knockoff CVS brand um, of, I think it's like the Clean and Clear face wash kind of thing so I do I do use that and uh I did do that and I I don't have a lotion with me but it's like the, I have like I said earlier I have eczema and like really bad like dry skin and stuff like that so I use like this you know what I'm not I'm not even gonna try and guess the name of the thing that I use but it's a lotion of course you know what I mean anything for dry skin or whatnot so anyway I guess we can go into like a little chit chat. I guess I won't go too much in, into into depth about what's going on in my life. Oh my god, honey chow. If only you guys knew what was like literally going on with me in the past what is it? 48 hours is how many days? Sorry, I swear to god, I'm not I'm not dumb, you know what I mean? But I've just I've been through a lot in the past like what? Today's um Tuesday. So, like, Sunday night. So, since Sunday night till... Maybe more like Monday. Because today is Tuesday and, you know, it's been pretty, like, calm. But, um... What I've kind of been through since Sunday night up until Monday has been horrific. I mean, utterly horrific. And I, I won't get too much into that because I don't really know if you guys will care. Um about that but at the same time we are gonna talk today okay and i don't know if you guys get this is like a mac concealer um by this point honey the color has i don't even know that's the thing about mac is that i don't know if they even put the colors on the concealer like what you rocking with or whatnot but I don't know, but I always start with, like, my concealer first. I don't know why. It's kind of... I, I don't know. I just, honey, I do what I do. And I either use this Maybelline Fit Me concealer. Honestly, I don't know if you guys are going to see this backwards or should I do it this way. So when you guys look at it, it's not backwards. Or now it's, like, upside down. But I don't know. But it's, like, a Ma Maybelline concealer number 30 cafe. It's a concealer. Um, but I either use... Go between this one... And this Photo Focus um, Concealer right here and, um, oh no, I'm sorry, it's Wet n' Wild. Sorry, guys. It's Wet n' Wild. Um, what number, what color? I have no idea. But I use them and then I use this brush right here that I've been using. It's a double-ended brush, eyebrow brush right here. And then I just use this for like concealer or whatever. But I do have a mirror right here, so I am going to be looking over here as well as in the screen but sometimes i use like both and this is just like my everyday kind of thing because it's so easy just to like slap on your face and honey and you're good to go but anyway let me go ahead and tell you guys maybe like briefly about what been going on lord have mercy talk about mm, horrific talk about i swear did not make this up mm -hmm life okay i just want to tell you guys never ever um move with somebody who let's say you guys are like moving in with like a, a boyfriend or whatever the case may be if you guys are not married don't do it i don't care how good they are acting to you or how well they're treating you or i don't know let's say you guys have like kids or whatever i don't care how good they're treating your kid or whatever the case may be don't do it please do not do it Okay, because, um, especially if you're having, like, doubts already or you're having, like, you know, like, a woman's intuition, like, mm-mm, boo-boo, girlfriend, let me try and tell you, 
you know, because, you know, women, we have our intuition, like, this don't seem right, you know what I mean, don't do it kind of situation, believe that, believe you're good, and I know that people always say, like, to do that, and then sometimes when you do do it, it's just like, it don't really come across as it's like being right or whatever the case may be. Or you may not have a good outcome from believing your intuition and you're just like, damn, oops, sorry guys for my language. <laughs> you know, you're just like, oh man, like, um, I never should have like believed like my intuition or whatever the case may be, but I'm telling you, believe it. Okay. Like a little bit about my situation is that I did not believe and or listen to my intuition because, you know, I was kind of like blinded by like the thought I guess of having him there or present or whatever and like how such a good father he was being and how good of a whatever like husband he was being you know what I mean I was kind of blinded by that you know what I mean and I would work and I would come home and the laundry would be washed dinner would be made Beds would be made, like everything nice, the house clean. So that at my old place, we were living in hardwood floors. So the whole entire house was a two bedroom, two bath, um, large apartment. I mean, it was huge. Okay, and so everything would be clean and swept and mopped, and everything would be good. And so I would come home from work, and you know I'd be tired, and I'm like, oh man, I have to cook or I have to clean. Nope, all that would be done already for me. And so that right there, I was like, oh my God, like I've never had a man and I will use quotes because you will quickly realize that your ideal of a man, it ain't what it is. Okay. Or at least I had to realize that. And so fast forward, you know, I was kind of like consumed and like stuck with that. You know what I mean? Like, oh my God, like, you know. I didn't had a lot of like bad apples and stuff like that in the bunch or whatnot. You know what I mean? And then I come and I find this guy who, you know, is willing to just do the simple things. You know what I mean? Like for me, like I know my worth or at least over the years I've kind of have like learned my worth. You know what I mean? But when I found him, I was just like, oh my God, like it's so simple. Like he, he understands and he gets the fact that. All I need is, like, the simple stuff done. Like, if I'm at work and you're not and you're off, whatever the case may be, like, go ahead and cook and clean or wash laundry, make beds, whatever the case may be, you know what I mean? And so he would get it and he would do it. Like, I would literally come home and everything would be done for me. All I would have to do is have a glass of wine, have a beer, talk to him about my day, whatever the case may be, you know what I mean? And it took, like, a lot of, like, stress off of me because, you know, when you work in, like, tech or, like, corporate America, it's very, very stressful. And a lot of times you end up taking your work home with you. And thank God this job, I, I didn't have to take my work home with me. So when I left work, I left work at work. But, of course, when you're, like, going home, you're still thinking about, oh, my God, I have this to do tomorrow, I have this to do tomorrow, whatever the case may be. So you are taking some, some kind of stress with you um, when you go home. But nowhere near as much as you actually physically taking your work home with you. So, okay, you know, I was kind of, like, blinded by the fact of, like, oh, my God, like, your girl, my God, and your girl, my God, it, you know what I mean? Like, I finally found me a man, you feel me, that is going to do the obvious. You know what I mean? I want to ask him to wash the dishes. I don't want to ask him to load the dishwasher or unload the dishwasher. I don't got to ask him to clean up the house. I don't got to clean it. I don't got to ask him to clean up after himself. You know what I mean? I don't got to ask him to do anything, let alone wash laundry, put it in the washer, in the dryer, take it out, bring it upstairs, fold it and put it away. <laughs> Your girl know how to do none of that. So of course, you know, I was doing like the happy dance, like, eh, I didn't got lucky, like, eh, you feel me? So that's kind of like what I'm like, going off of you know like it's good you know what I mean but it soon to realize mind you this this all happened within like a year sorry guys I'm trying to find my brow palette I keep this is the contour one from profusion I'm not sure if you guys can see it right here is the contour palette from there but I'm not looking for that and then this is the blush and bronzer palette that I've been pulled up. Honey, 
let me know if you guys want any type of like makeup <laughs> tutorial looks from this type of stuff girl oh wait sorry sidetracked but i did pre-record like a video from fries because i never knew that fries electronic store carried any type of like makeup um <laughs> if i can find it i don't mind posting it but <laughs> i was shocked oh and then that also give you guys kind of like a background story because I filmed that video in like my last place. So you guys can, in my bedroom. So you guys can kind of like see like, I don't know, like the hardwood floors. I don't really know if you guys like care about that. But anyway, anyway, this is the brows palette from um, Profusion. what I'm looking for. I normally, this is like my holy, holy grail. Sorry, guys. I just dropped my Bobbi Brown um, highlight. Oh my God. I had to be careful because it's already cracked. I cracked it. You see? Oh, my God. This thing right here is... B and it's also upside down, too. Like, okay, girl. You're cool. <laughs> but anyway, this Kiss little eyebrow palette, this is my holy grail. As you can see, the wax is, like, all gone. I know. Ridiculous. But, like, I love this. See, the wax is all gone. But, like, I love, 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 love this palette right here. Oh, my God. So, I have this little Profusion brow thing, and it has, like, everything that kind of, like, comes with or whatever. I, like, literally bought this stuff from either Home Goods, which is, uh, not Marshall. Is it Marshall's? No, I keep getting Marshall's and Michael's mixed up. So, yeah, Home Goods is, like, Marshall's. So, you got it from there or from fries electronic store but from here i just use like the wax you see it can use like i just use like the wax or whatnot i don't really sorry you guys see my jewelry up there <laughs> um i just use like the wax because i like the colors that are in my kiss palette um so i like i like to do like my eyebrows next i normally have like a spruily oh actually i do this is the it cosmetic um brow little wand thing this thing I haven't really played with it much, but I find it very, very hard to use. Like, this little end right here. Oh, Lord have mercy. I mean, of course it goes more, but Lord have mercy. It is so hard to use, and I cannot sculpt my brows out like I want to. I mean, it's not like I do, like, whoop, whoop. You know, like, the eyebrows that go, whoop, whoop. I don't do all that, you know what I mean? But at the same time, like, it, it's hard to use this thing because I don't find it, like, movable or usable or creamable you know what I mean it's not like that you know what I mean so I just use the same brush that I used to do like my concealer underneath my eyes mind you I'm sorry guys I'm also doing some of my closet okay with minimal light so I mean that's we just gonna see okay how this turns out if it turns out ugly don't blame me I swear it looks good in normal daylight or like natural light you know what I mean but we're gonna be good we're gonna be good today I got y'all okay we're gonna be good so now let me go ahead and do my eyebrows um, for my everyday look. I'm telling you guys, like, it normally, like, it don't take this long, okay? It don't. But y'all gonna be fine. Anyway, back to the story. So, um, yeah. Don't freaking uh believe anyone when they tell you... Yeah, it's good to believe people's actions and stuff like that, but... Mm, Especially when they're fresh out of jail. Honey, I'm telling you. Okay. Don't do that. Okay. Don't believe that. But, you know, because there's a such thing as jail talk. You know what I mean? When they're in jail. You know, they want to tell you everything that you want to hear. But the crazy thing is that even when he got out, he was still, like, displaying. Oh, my God. That is a long eyebrow. Okay. And guess what, girls? We rocking long eyebrows today. Okay. Because I'm not fixing anything. Okay. We still gonna look cute. Don't worry about it. Um, Like, there is a such thing as, like, jail talk. But the even more crazier thing is, is that he, he wasn't, like, displaying, like, the typical, like, jail talk. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's that situation. I'm not going to get too much into it because I know y'all did not come here to hear my BS or my L drama, okay? But, um, oh yeah, honeys, there's some drama going on for your girl's life, okay? But guess what? I'm not one for the drama or one with the BS, mm-mm, honey. I knocked that down real quick. Why? Because I am too damn old. To be having to live 
with drama and BS from no grown adult. I'm sorry, you should have learned that from your mama. You understand me? You should have you should have learned how to be a man and you should have learned how to not bring drama to people. You know what I mean? Like one thing that you should learn as a child growing up is don't ever bite the hand that feeds you. You know what I mean? And by that, for people who probably don't know what that means is if someone's willing to help you out and to take care of you and basically take them underneath take you underneath their wing don't disrespect them and don't do them dirty you know what i mean oh my god i cannot even tell you how much money i didn't spent on this you know not nice person so much money you know what i mean took care of him and everything you know what i mean so never bite the hand that feeds you are we still recording? I think so. We're, are we at 20 minutes already? Oh my god. I talked for so much. But we're almost done. Don't worry about it. Okay. And so yeah, that's that. But anyway, I hope that you guys are doing fine. And well, oh my god. Hold on guys. I love using... I'm about to have a heart attack, guys. I love using my Lancome mascara. That's like my life. And I don't know where it's at, guys. Uh, I'm not sure if I took it out, but... Oh. Should have had a V8. Woo! Okay. Sorry. I should probably have said that. I'm not really sponsored by them. And I don't even drink V8s. I'm just using that little look, that little saying, whatever. But anyway, we're going to do our, our, what you call these? Eyelids. Eyelashes. Next. I love using this freaking, like, Lancome one. My sister got it for me. Um, It's like a birthday present. Or one of her coworkers just kind of gave it to her. And my sister, she does not do makeup at all, but. I do. I love playing with it. Hence, maybe one day you guys can see all this makeup junk that I didn't buy myself. Oh my god. <laughs> Girl, friend. Don't judge me. Okay? That's all I can say is don't judge me. Okay? But I love using this because it makes my eye, my eyelashes look so freaking popping. And of course, I have fake eyelashes. I just don't really use them because when I have this Lancome eyelash, oh my god, I look really like Beyonce <laughs> don't judge me okay I don't judge you don't judge me okay <laughs> but at least you know I look like Beyonce in my closet <laughs> okay but anyway let's just go ahead and do this you know and plus also if you're moving a lot more faster than I am because we all know I'm not really moving that fast um you could totally get this look done um in like 10 minutes I mean, this is this makeup look is like basically slap it on your face and get the heck up out the house. You know what I mean? Like, or even if you're like giving birth and let's say, let's just say your water broke and the baby's coming in like 20 minutes. You do your makeup in 10 minutes, you get the other 10 minutes to push. Okay. I'm just trying to help you out, girlfriend. Okay. You better push that baby out looking cute because you don't want your baby to come out and be like, who the heck is this lady? Uh, uh, bring me back in the womb. Okay, I want to go back. Because you so, you know, I mean, I'm not going to say that you're ugly, but, you know, the baby might, you might, you know, you may scare the baby. <laughs> I don't know. But this is a quick little makeup look that I do, like, every day. And I normally do it when I don't have, like, enough time to do my face properly. So I do this. And, uh... It looks good. Now, I ain't finna show y'all how I dress, okay? I mean, I guess y'all can see kind of like right here. But girlfriend, guess what? Okay, I'm bending a little bit. I have, a make I have like my closet sorted. You know, like, you can't see that, but you cannot see way over there. Anyway, I have like my uh, silk shirts from short to long leave. And then I have like my knitted shirts. And then it goes back. So I guess you guys can kind of like see how like I dress or whatnot. But... Yeah, I'm not showing y'all all that stuff today, okay? Y'all have not deserved that yet, okay? I still love you guys, but anyway. No, this is just my cute little makeup look that I do. Am I sweating? I feel like my nose is, like, sweating. Or is it called, like, drooling? I don't know. I think my nose is doing something. But anyway, this is what I'm doing. I'm almost done. Mascara mascara you guys see it i'm telling you like you know can you guys see it like oh my god and i layer it up sometimes i like one two three like triple it up like three different times i'll triple it up and so hold on one second i'm filming give me a minute
uh, my video for my YouTube channel, so please be quiet. Wait, no, we're gonna put some clothes. Sorry. Anyway, so that's about it, and I'm gonna do like my lip. Sorry, stop. I'm not editing this. Stop. Go put on your clothes. Go put on your clothes, and then you can film a video when I'm done. Sorry, guys. See, now I freaking edit this. Oh my god. No, no, no. Anyway, let me hurry up. So then I do. I normally do like a lip liner. Where's the lip liner at? Mm -hmm. Honey, I don't know. I wish you could see, like, really, like, see, like, my eyelashes. But, like, can you see it? Can you see them? Oh, my God. I know. Gorgeous. But, I mean, can you see it? I don't really know. Can you see it? <laughs> You're probably like, duh, girlfriend. We can see it, Miss Fabulous. Duh. Anyway, so now I'm going to do a lip. I normally do, like, a lip liner. But, like I said, my stuff's all over the place. So, I think we're going to do... Actually, no. Before I do my lips, I always do, like, a blush. And I'm going to do like a blush. This is my, I think it's like Milani Romantic Rose. Yeah, it's Milani's coming off. It's number one, Romantic Rose. And I do that and I get like my little blushy blush. You know, this is, all my brushes I've used today is Urban Studios. Except for um, my powder brush. This is Eco Tools. I don't know what number or what brush, but this is Eco Tools. Um, and I love that brush. So, you know, go ahead and do like that. But girl, let me tell y'all, okay? Mama over Mommy. here, okay? We be highlighting to the freaking Mom, goddess. You know what I mean? Can you please be quiet? I'm talking. And so then we go back in with our Bobbi Brown highlights. And I normally do do Urban Decay. But look this out. Look, look, can you guys see this? Oh my God. Oh my God, can you see it? gorgeous gorgeous i know gorgeous like i'm not sure if you guys know who plow plies is p-l-i-e-s plies or plows um i'm sorry i know i'm terrible but i've literally been listening to him for years he came out with a song like early this year called gorgeous i don't know but maybe you guys should like hear it he is amazing move i'm not done yet um that song oh my god it is like great and then i come in with like this it's like a drugstore it's probably like milani as well it's from drugs it's called gordon or uh, golden light you see this is so gorgeous i love it stop sorry guys i have you know some kids at my house right now he needs to go back home anyway we are not talking about that but can you guys see this highlight though? Anyway, I like to double. I like to light up. Sometimes I even like to take my because I can't find the Urban Decay right now. I either take this Milani one or the Bobby Brown, and I just this three. This is like a, a gold, a rose gold, and like a peachy kind of gold right here. And I just be like this, girlfriend, and I like put it right here. Okay, girlfriend, that's what we're gonna do. You know, and we just put it right there at the top because you know we all like to highlight and glow. I'm a freak. Okay, so guys, I'm just about done. See, it's kind of cute. And now we're going to go ahead and do a lot a lip. I like to do like a bold lip. And all my lipsticks are right here. So what is this? This is, um, I love Ruby Woo from MAC. But I don't know this lip. You know what? Let's go for it. We're going to go for a bold red lip with this. So we're gonna do this lip, okay? Bye, ugly I normally do like a like a lip liner, but we're totally gonna do this right now with this red lip. Okay, let me see. Okay. Can I go ahead? Sorry guys, I'm looking at the mirror right now. Okay. You guys see it? This is kind of cute, though. What do you think? I don't know. And then, like, lately, like, maybe not even, like, lately, but, like, a lot of times, I like to use, like, a more matte kind of, like, brownish or, like, let me see if I can find it. I have this one. Oh, it's, it's on my bag. It was in a purse. And, um, but it's, like, a nude. And I like to do, like, an opera look, like, right there in the middle. So, I guess we can try this, um, new... CoverGirl, it's CoverGirl number 235 champagne, and put it right there in the middle. I don't know, like, I just, like, love, like, an ombre kind of, like, lip look, you know what I mean? But I do like the basic 
you know, like normal, put on your lipstick, girl, you still look good, okay, you look good, okay, but I do like the little, uh, can you see, yeah, oh my god, oh my god, all right, oh my god, isn't that cute, oh my god, you know what I mean, like, come on, girl, it's like, we love this look, you know what I mean, oh my god, gorgeous right like that's what i'm talking about like i love that look don't worry about the hair girlfriends because we gonna do the hair but y'all ain't gonna see the whole finished look you just want to do like the makeup look because then with your hair you know what i mean all you gotta do is just go to the bathroom slap some water in your hair some hair gel whatever and you're good to go like do sis you know what i mean but this look is so freaking gorgeous can you guys see it like you know what I mean? Is this cute? Anyway. Anyway, girls, that is all that I'm doing today. And I just want to let you guys say and know. Don't worry about what anybody has to tell you guys. You're fierce and fabulous with or without makeup. And don't let nobody tell you that you need makeup or that you don't need makeup, okay? If you want to wear makeup, you wear your makeup, okay? And you own that. You be beautiful with or without it. As long as you have the self-confidence within yourself, you will be just fine. And you can wear the makeup and not, and not let the makeup wear you. You hear me, girlfriend? Okay. And just remember to be fierce and fabulous, okay? And don't let nobody try and take that from you because nobody can. Do not give them that much power. And remember to stay encouraged. And remember that you are beautiful through and through with or without that makeup. Okay, honey bunnies? Y'all let me know what you guys want to see next. And let me know how this looks. I don't really know because I am filming in my closet with a light right here. <laughs> okay. But I hope that you guys do like it. I don't really know. Let me know if you guys want to know what, like, all the products that I did use for today's makeup look. I have no idea. Don't worry about the hair because I'm either going to put on a wig, number one. Or I'm going to, like, let, like, my natural hair be slick back to the goddess. And I'm going to be flying away. Anyway, I'm done messing with y'all. Y'all like this girl crazy. Maybe just a little bit. I don't really know. But let me know what you guys think about these eyebrows and this kissable lips. But remember, you guys, stay fierce and stay fabulous. And don't let nobody try and dim your light. Because your light is beautiful. And it will always shine bright like a diamond. And you guys are fierce. Kisses. Bye, guys.